Over the past few months numerous rumors have circulated in global media outlets regarding the alleged disappearance of the Russian nuclear submarine, the Belgorod. This has raised concerns and fear among the European and American populations, as the submarine is said to be armed with a powerful weapon capable of causing a massive nuclear tsunami. However, much of this apprehension stems from a lack of awareness about Russia's submarine operations and their regular activities, partly due to Russia's secretive nature in such matters. It is therefore important to gain a proper understanding of the role of the Belgorod and the distribution of Russia's submarine fleet, as well as assess the potential dangers posed by Russian submarine activity. The Belgorod, designated as K-329, is a specialized variant of the Oscar II class of Russian submarines, specifically designed for special operations. It was commissioned in July 2022. Its addition to Russia's submarine fleet coincides with ongoing conflicts in Ukraine and a significant military buildup in the Arctic region. As part of this effort, the Russian military is revitalizing previously abandoned Soviet-era bases, upgrading them to accommodate the latest warfare technology. Measuring 178 meters in length and 15 meters in width, with a tonnage of approximately 30,000 tons, the Belgorod stands as the largest submarine in the world, setting it apart from conventional submarines. The only other submarines comparable in size are those of the renowned Typhoon class from the Soviet Navy, which were 175 meters long and over 23 meters wide, with only one remaining active. While the Belgorod is unique in its category, Russia maintains a considerable fleet of submarines dispersed across the world's oceans. As of 2022, Russia possessed a total of 73 submarines, slightly surpassing the forces of both the United States and China. The submarine capacity serves as one of Russia's most valuable assets and a significant strategic deterrent against other navies and potential threats. Recent estimates indicate that the submarine's alleged 100 megaton bomb capable of causing a devastating tsunami is unreliable, with the actual yield estimated to be around 2 megatons. It is crucial to understand that Russian submarine presence extends far beyond its coastal waters, covering vast distances. Therefore, it should not come as a surprise when submarines are reported in distant regions far from their national territory. Similarly, the occurrence of a submarine disappearing beneath the sea should not cause alarm, as it is precisely what submarines are designed to do, contributing to their high strategic value. However, Russian submarine activity has indeed been a cause for concern, particularly in the Arctic region, for some time now. The Northern Fleet holds significant importance within the Russian Navy as it serves as the base for Russia's nuclear sea forces. Situated in the Arctic region in close proximity to NATO territories, it requires close monitoring. In 2021 a Beret-class submarine remained hidden under the Arctic ice cap for two months, raising concerns among NATO authorities about increased Russian submarine activity reminiscent of the Cold War era. However, the fate of the infamous Belgorod and its even more notorious, Poseidon, weapon currently occupies the minds of many. Regarding the Belgorod, it is known to be equipped with six Poseidon nuclear weapons, a nuclear-powered deep-diving midget submarine for seabed warfare, a rescue submarine, as well as conventional torpedoes and other armaments. The Poseidon, also known as the Doomsday Weapon, is the world's largest torpedo, measuring approximately 2 meters in width and 20 meters in length, three times the size of a standard torpedo. It possesses the potential to cause significant damage to coastal cities and is particularly concerning due to its ability to evade satellite detection and bypass missile defenses, making it a slow but inexorable threat. Rumors have surfaced regarding the Belgorod's potential involvement in the incidents concerning the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines in early October 2022. After all, the Baltic and Arctic regions are not far apart. 
The Belgorod's presence in the Barents Sea during the final days of September makes it impossible for the submarine to have been in the Baltic at the time of the attacks. This further provides evidence that the Belgorod has not disappeared, as some media reports suggest. Nevertheless, its absence from the public eye does not imply it is safely docked. As one of Russia's most potent deterrents, the Belgorod continues to be a source of concern, prompting several European navies to procure additional submarines to counter the Russian threat. Ultimately the Belgorod represents a formidable weapon and should be closely monitored. The overarching concern lies in Russia's overall secrecy and discretion regarding military matters and how it may employ its newest and most dangerous submarines. As Sutton points out, virtually all of Russia's naval movements must be viewed within the broader strategic competition between Russia and the West. Deploying such assets in its arsenal serves as a powerful tool for Moscow to incite hysteria and fear among the population. However, it is important to note that employing missiles against civilian targets would constitute a significantly different scenario, one that, hopefully, remains off the table.